Hello, and we're live at Birmingham City University. We're here on the open day. It's one of the sunniest days I've ever seen on an open day here at Birmingham City University, but we're checking out the computer engineering and the built environment here at Millennium Point. So we've got loads of different courses you can study within our faculty so lots of different course leaflets here if you come to our next open day pick one up you'll be able to have a little read of it so yeah we've got loads of we've got computing we've got digital media technology we've got all of the courses we have our lovely staff who are going to help you as soon as you get here at millennium point so it's really nice and friendly environment we have first of all let's go and have a little look at the live music so we've got music technology courses fun fact Music technology at Birmingham City University is actually ranked five in the entire country, as, as said by The Guardian. But yeah, you've got all of this amazing equipment that you would be able to use here at Birmingham City University. Hello, so Hello. are you a music technology student? No, well, sound engineering. Sound engineering and production. And production. Also, how do you find it? It's pretty good, I enjoy it. Yeah. So is this like the type of equipment that you would be using in a real life situation? Yeah, so recently we took this to a festival. Uh, so. This was running main, uh, well, our main stage at Acoustic Festival of Britain. Um, wow. Yeah, so it's all pretty, pretty standard industry stuff. It'll all do a pretty good job. On yeah. A good. Awesome. Thank you very much. Nice. Thank you very much. Cheers. All right. Let's go to the orchard now, which, which is where lots of our music technology courses are actually held. Right, let's go. There's a queue to get in. It's so busy. Let's sneak through this way. We'll sneak past the key. Right, let's have a little look in the orchard. So this is the orchard. So we've got loads of brand new Mac PCs for students to use here. We've got the drum tank, which where students can do some music technology experiments in, recording. We've got a lovely gentleman here. Hello, what's your name? Hello, I'm Izzy. And what do you do? I lecture in acoustics. Oh, perfect. And what's it like? What, what's, what's the what course is like? What's the course like? Okay, so uh, so acoustics is just a small part of what we do. Um, it's a part of uh, the sound engineering degree and the music technology degree. So I'm going to be talking about recording studio design and uh, how we can make sure the studio sound is good as possible. Awesome, thank you very much. Okay. Okay, we'll get out of your hair whilst uh, <laughs> you talk to all these people. Right, so we're on to next, we're going to Parkside. So Parkside is a completely different building to Millennium Point that we're in now. So we have to go across this bridge. So let's have a little bit of a run because, you know, we're on a tight schedule here on this live stream. So I'll stop at the bridge because I don't want to run past all of these people because that would be very embarrassing. Right, so yeah, as I said, it's a very hot, nice day today. This is the bridge. You have loads of different computers available to use during term time. So when you've got an assignment to do, all of these PCs have all of the programs that you need to use. HS2 is being built just opposite our university, which is really interesting um, and really, really helpful and beneficial for students. <sighs> cool. Just pop through. So we've got laptops that you can also hire out little cases dotted around the university where you can literally just put your student ID in, hire out a laptop for at least 48 hours. So it's always good that you can kind of like take a laptop home, work on work, bring it back in the morning. Right, so we're currently in the Parkside building, home of the Arts, Design and Media faculty. So a different faculty to CB, but you can still use all of the facilities and all of the rooms if you're a film student. Uh, definitely worthwhile coming and checking out these facilities as well. Right, so we're now heading towards the film studios, which are state-of-the-art and industry-ready. So much so that we've had productions from the BBC, Channel 5, come in and use our facilities just because of how high-grade and, and interesting they are. So yeah, we've got visual effects courses as well. So let's have, a, let's have another run. Oh. So you've got TV studios this way. So we've got Studio A here. Studio A is a state-of-the-art studio. Hopefully we can go in and have a little look. So yeah, Studio A, amazingly big. Like if you're a visual effects student, a film technology student, this, this is huge. We've got lighting rigs, loads of cameras. You can literally book out this room 
and use it on one of your projects or whatever you want to be doing. Really cool. Let's go to the next studio, which is one of my favourite facilities in the entire of the university, just because of the immensity of it. This is Studio B. Studio B, one of the biggest green screens in the country for students to kind of get their hands on and practice keying and really kind of make their scenes come alive with visual effects. So yeah, students kind of study all of these things and learn how to use all of the equipment. I'll now demonstrate. Wow, look how good that is. <laughs> Give us the weather. Oh no. But it's sunny in Birmingham, like it always is, cough, cough. Right, so let's carry on. So yeah, within the park side as well, you've got hires and loans. Hires and loans, you can kind of book out equipment uh, to use on your projects, which is really useful. So for example, I had to film a documentary two years ago, and I was able to book out three cameras, a lighting rig, a microphone set, all for free, and hire them out for three days. So really, really, really helpful at Birmingham City University. If you've got any questions, by the way, pop them in the comments below and I'll answer them as I get them. Hello, hello Stephen, 2011-2012 MSC alumni, how are you doing? Right, we're carrying on now. And we're going to go outside because of how nice the weather is and I'll be able to show you outside as well. We're currently in the Parkside Atrium. Very nice, very nice here. <laughs> very nice in the Parkside Atrium. So you can study here. Right, we're currently going outside because of how nice it is. Look how nice it is. We've got the Curzon building, so that's where the library is. Very nice. So that's where all the, all the learning resources you'll be able to use during your dissertation write-ups, your coursework, yada, yada, yada. But no, look how nice this weather is. But yeah, we've got Birmingham just over there. So we are right in the heart of the city. So if you fancy going for a meal, a bit of lunch, between lectures, you can. I did that last year. Very nice. Went for a cheeky Nando's. Fun fact, we've actually got four different Nando's restaurants within a three mile radius of our university campus. Not many cities can say that they've got that. We've got a Selfridges store, so really luxurious items in there. Very nice. But no, we've got Eastside Park just to the left of us, which is a a nice bit of greenery to go alongside our university so it's kind of really nice having that green space right next to our campus. Got some lovely pictures on the wall here. <laughs> so we've got me there. I'm on the wall. Very nice. And there yeah we're about to head into Millennium Point now. Millennium Point reception where you will originally go to check in during an open day. So, very nice. Right, so this is Millennium Point. Safe trim. So, here we go. Hello. Oh, I'm okay, thank you very much. But how's it like being at BCE? Perfect. Awesome. awesome. Sounds really nice. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> right. So this is where you this is where you would come if you were checking in for our open day. So you join this queue, and then you'd go through the system and get given a program, a goodie bag, all that jazz. But no, our open day really does have everything and ev any type of question you do have, be it about security, sports, apprenticeships. We literally have a stand for any question that you may have. Any question, admissions, go abroad, if you want to go and study abroad, we've got someone that you can talk to. We've got accommodation queries. So we also have accommodation tours happening. So you can go and have a little look at 
all of the different accommodation blocks that we've got. So I stayed in Jennings Court during my first year. It was a great way for me to make friends. I was in a room, uh, a flat with all of my different course friends. And it was really nice kind of, yeah, being together in one type of flat. But yeah, this is the very long escalator. So let's, let's run up it. Let's go to postgraduate courses now because this isn't just an undergraduate open day. We've also got postgraduate courses being showcased today. So, you know, if you've done an undergraduate degree, we also cater for the masters and the postgraduate courses. Let's have a little swing up these stairs. Yeah, as I said, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. Someone asks, when are you planning to make a, make a video about Millennium Point Campus? Well, it's in the it's in the it's in the cards, right? So we have a, a dedicated careers team. They're going to aunt, aunt, look out for you when you come here at BCU. They helped me get my placement. But there's me again. They 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 helped me get my placement at BCU. So it was really helpful. But yeah, we've got some postgraduate representatives here. So if you have any questions about postgrad courses. Computing, engineering, and a bit of environment. We've got postgraduate courses that you can kind of apply for. Very interesting, very cool. Right, so next we're going to the computing and digital technology floor. And don't forget, guys, it pays to stay at BCE. Pays to stay, so you can get a grant if you manage to get a 2 1 degree or higher, which will go towards your master's degree. So if you want to stay at BCE and you did good, Save some money, save a bit of buck. Right, so we're going. Oh, hello. It's Andy, Head of Computing and DT. How are you? I'm great. I'm absolutely spectacular. How's it, how's it, how's BCU going? Is it going good? Fantastic. Beautiful weather. Yeah, I know. What's the best things about DT? Students. The students, the academics and the people. Yeah. Um, and we have fantastic facilities, so that just tells you how fantastic our people are. Oh, um, in a nutshell, very good. We've got to go because we're on a tight schedule. Okay. But it's nice speaking to you. Bye bye. Right. So, this is the Hall of Computing and Digital Technology. So, we've got lots of different Innovation Fest projects going on here. So, really cool, really nice. Right, awesome. So, we've got an innovation project here. Hello, what's your name and what did you study? Uh, my name is Rebecca Spit. I studied music technology. Awesome, and what is this? It's a microphone functioning system, stereo application. It looks really interesting. We have two microphones in, and then in real time you can listen to the effects. Awesome, that's really cool. Awesome, thank you very much. Cheers. So yeah, Innovation Fest is a festival that we put on for first years and students in their first year have to create an innovative project that will have real life benefits basically, which is really cool. Hello, what's your name? Hello. I'm Natasha. We've got um, our innovation project here. We've um, put together a sound recording system that can it's made for deaf users so it vibrates when it picks up sound you can see the lights yeah wow. going when it's vibrating That's so the really idea cool. is you wear it and then when you when the sound comes in it vibrates on the part of your body like direction you can turn around see that there's a car going someone's calling your name that kind of stuff that's really nice that's really innovative it's in the name <laughs> <laughs> yeah thank you very much cheers right so yeah we've got loads of stuff here we've got video games on show that students have made really cool and we're going over now to digital media technology. Let's have a chat with Adam Dyson. Adam Dyson, Adam, how are you as well? how's it going? Yeah, yes. what, what, uh, what do you study? I study sound engineering and production. Oh, nice. Sound stuff. And is this, uh, what is this thing here? So this is one of the speakers from downstairs that I borrowed. Uh, and this is my final year project, which is a pair of resonator speaker stands. Wow. Which essentially improve the acoustics of a room without actually taking up any additional space. They look quite nice. Yeah, they look amazing. Yeah. Awesome. Doing pretty well. Perfect. And the course is okay? Well, it's more than okay. Isn't yeah, it? it's so, perfect. Yeah, it's really, really good. Um, awesome. Thank you, Adam. Anoli. Right. What do you study? I study music tech. Awesome. Um, and what, what's, what's good about music tech? Oh, um, I guess collaboration with people. So people that can say as well. Brilliant musicians. Um, very diverse course. You know, we're doing electronics, acoustics, um, studio recording. Um, you get to use all of this amazing equipment. Yes, and I'm currently on placement as well. Oh, perfect. Thing we do in our this is like the worst of you. 
<laughs> the better stuff's actually downstairs in the studios. Ah. This is the crap stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you say you did a placement. Would you recommend any all students do a placement? I think it's a great way of uh, sort of getting connections and networking our sort of our industry. Um, go to meet new people and just have confidence to adapt to work environment. Awesome, thank you very much. Yeah. Cheers, thank you. Right, we're going to built environment now, so let's go. Right, so built environment, let's do this. We have the maker's area, which is really cool. We've got 3D printers in there. So much stuff. All to fit it in this small live stream. Impossible. Right, so we've got the built environment here. So we've got the built environment. We've got some final year projects and innovation projects here on show. So we've got lots of different courses there which you can kind of do within built environment. We've got a built environment student here which we're going to talk to. And uh, yeah, we're going to get a first hand experience. Say so, hello. So what, you, what course do you study? Civil engineering. Awesome. And what's good about that course? It's unique. It's also Awesome. Awesome, very nice. So have you done a placement? Yeah, I'm currently on a placement. You're currently on a placement. How is that placement going? Yeah, and would you recommend that yeah. someone does a placement if they were coming to BCE? Yes. Definitely. 110%. 110%. Yeah. Hands down, perfect, nice one. So yeah, we've got some also laptops here that students can borrow out, which is really cool. So this is another study space when it isn't during an open day. And we're going now to the built environment space. Hopefully we'll be able to talk to another student, which is gonna be able to answer some amazing questions about built environment. So if you've got any questions on the live stream, don't forget, put them in the comments and we can answer them straight away. Let's have a looky here. Right, so we've got so let so yeah, we got some built environment equipment here. So we've got some brand new personalised PPE which have been supplied to us. So you've got when students go out on site vi visits, we've got some amazing equipment, really nice. Even hard hats, got everything here. But yeah, we are building the city's future, as this banner says. But yeah, I've been Joey. Hopefully you've enjoyed our little nice wander around Birmingham City University CB faculty. If you have any questions, any further questions, pop them in the comments and one of us will get back to you very quickly. Hi everyone, it's Luke from Birmingham City University. I'm here at an open day. We're looking around some of the computing facilities here in Millennium Point. Um, this is the network lab and I have got some current students here. This is Molly and Taylor. Um, Molly, what course do you study? Okay, and what is in this room? So this is one of our three networking rooms that we have at BCU. This room has 16 racks of equipment that can be used by all students. It is mainly used by most of the first year courses. Okay, brilliant. And Taylor, what course do you study? I study computer games technology. And why do you think a student should come to BCU to, do, um, to study computing? Brilliant. So we are going to leave networking now. We're going to run over to the computer games lab. Um, we've got some great facilities in here. We've got HTC Vive headsets. We've got PS4 dev kits. There's loads of great stuff. So at the moment, this is the computer games lab. And students are working in here at the moment. They're just doing some work. And we've got Ashley over here. Ashley's going to answer a couple of questions that I've got all about computer games. Oh, absolutely. So, um, what do you? Oh, so, what do you actually do on a computer games technology course? Well, we cover multiple different subjects. So, we, we cover things like the, the CGI animation and modeling, um, all the way through to some more in-depth things such as C++. You know, it's some really low-level programming on C++. Um, we work with different graphics APIs, OpenGL, DirectX. And there's a look in, in the future to do with like Vulkan, um, which is a new graphics API. Um, and then we also do um, some more of the, the reason why 
uh, such as data structures and algorithms, so we know why you would use one, one thing rather than another. Um, yeah, no, we cover a lot of different things on this Brill. And what kind of things do you do uh, for extracurricular activities in computer games? Well, we, we run a, a lot of game jams, um, which are like a, a 24 to 48 hour long coding fest, um, where you know, we get loads of snacks in, we get loads of drinks in, uh, and just spend 24 to 48 hours working on the games non-stop. Um, we also do a summer placement, which is called Curso. Um, it's a, a, a wonderful little uh, startup uh, and where we work on industry projects um, to, to produce software for companies that have come to us and ask for things. That's brilliant. And now I'm going to go and speak to one of the senior lecturers here at Birmingham City University. He is the course leader for computer games technology. Um, so this is Carlo. And can you tell me what's happening uh, with this summer placement? Uh, with Curso. Yes. yes. Okay, so uh, Curso is a phenomenal software initiative. Uh, it basically combines into the game studio software house. And it's for students that we have across all careers and all courses that we can see to effectively say, uh, did you get the placement, or the placement, did you manage to get the placement? And the big thing is that we'll give you some experience with real development projects. I didn't realize both industry related. Brill, thank you. So that was just a very quick whistle, -top, whistle stop tour of computing. Um, we hope to welcome you to an open day in the future if you can't make it today. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.